Oh my god! No! 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 I pulled Majin Vegeta. Really? The LR one? Oh my! Did you really just pull Majin Vegeta? Yes. The you just pulled LR Majin Vegeta. Yes. Phil, you don't understand. What the? Vegeta. What the? Okay, it was worth it. Okay. I'm sorry. You don't understand. Dude, I thought you were getting stabbed. I said I. I was in. Never did I expect to get this man in such a way when Zen was streaming. Um, hello? After a thousand stones, like, I didn't know, I don't even know, like, what to say at this point, because I was legit just switching between the agility and physical type banners, because I was like, you know what, let's go for the B one more time, I'll do a few summons off camera, and I didn't really get anything from the physical type, so I thought, you know what, let's give the agility type banner a few more chances, maybe I can get my final god Q do, because I want to get that man to 100% finally. And I just kept switching between the two. I believe I managed to pull Kaiken and Goku on the agility one. And then I believe it was actually my very last multi summon where I was like, you know what, let's just do my very last one on the agility type banner. And I got Super Saiyan to Gohan the support. And I was like, okay, this multi is clearly going to be trash. And then later on, the man himself, Margin Vegeta, pops up. And this is the last medal that I need. So I'm going to awaken him, of course. And then after that, I'm going to try him out. And I legit have no words. I'm just super happy that I finally managed to pull him. After those 1,000 stones, I was a broken man when it came to Margin Vegeta. I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to bother with him. I suppose I'll pull him eventually. And then I had those stones just sitting there like, oh, might as well try one last attempt. And now I'm not that bothered about Cooler, to be honest. I am probably going to, like, hold off. I don't know. We'll see. And there we go. Him taken care of. I'm super excited just to try this team out because my Rose is 100%. Um, who else is 100%? Vegito is 100%. And my Godku is very close to being 100%. And I am going to be running Super Saiyan Blue Kaio Ken instead of Super Saiyan Blue Goku just because he has that Super Attack 10. He has over in a flash, so it's pretty straightforward. There we go. And of course, when you run that, oh, that's something I didn't think about. What are my rotations going to be like? Probably Margin Vegeta and Rose, and then Margin Vegeta and Super Vegito. It's a shame that Margin Vegeta doesn't have shocking speed, but. Having him paired up with Super Saiyan Blue Kai Ken would have been nice, but it's way more beneficial to just keep him paired with, um, what do you call it? Just keep him paired up with Vegito, and keep in mind that in the third slot, we are going to have Super Saiyan Blue Kai Ken, Super Saiyan God Goku, and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, so it's not going to be too bad. And let's see if we can take him out in this rotation. And of course, we aren't, ne um, aren't exactly using the greatest lead at the moment. We are using Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Margin Vegeta, which is okay, but it's not anything crazy. And look at that Rose, man. I can't wait to like properly try out this man. So good. Doing it in the doubles, and this particular rotation should be able to take him out. But it's just that I haven't used agility in such a long time, but now I'm definitely going to be using it a lot more because I can use... A combination of both heroes and villains. Well, I'll say that, but I'm only going to be um, only going to be using Rose and Margin Vegeta, of course. But even so, it's going to be a fun team to use, I'd imagine. And this isn't going to take him out, is it? Additional, oh, additional. Damn it! I was hoping um, he wouldn't have super attacked Vegito there. And let's just finish this off with God Goku coming in with over in the flash and shocking speed. I don't know why they didn't decide to give Margin Vegeta shocking speed, but it is what it is. And there we go. Now, what can... Um, I was about to say, what can we do? We can take him out. That's what we're going to do. Let's take him out of Rose. It just seems fitting. Going to awaken the man. And then it is time to try out this team on a double LR Margin Vegeta lead. Let's go Rose. I mean, I think that kind... It's not annoying, but... It's a shame that it's going to be a bit harder for him to activate more of his attack links because no one on this team has Nightmare. No one on this team has Big uh, big Bad Bosses. So that is one area where he could potentially... He doesn't struggle in terms of attack links, but he could definitely hit a lot harder if those attack links were active. And I could implement a unit to activate those attack links. For example, I could easily put 
um, the final four mode tournament cooler in there. But it's just way more beneficial to have the other guys around, of course. But it is now time to awaken the man, the last medal. I still can't believe I'm seeing this. Just look at that art. Super Attack 10. Of course, I had like five Tech Marjorie Vegeta dupes just sitting around. So I've got them to Super Attack 6. And because I have a ton of Kai's, it's not going to be a problem. And I have a ton of Vegeta Oblee medals for whatever reason. I can't even remember at this point. But here we go, the last medal. And there it is. Right, now let's feed this man the Kai. So that's five. Going to need another five on top of this. And I'm an idiot for not trying to level up his uh, levels. But it's fine. Wow, that didn't level up him, like level him up at all. That's one, two, three. I wonder how many Kai's I'm going to have left um, over after this. But I believe that's enough. I should probably, and um, probably, try to max this man out and peel off, um, peel off hats. The um, Pycon hats are going to be very useful here. Easily the best training item in the game. Should I just go all the way? Uh, You know what? Screw it. Might as well. Whoa. For a moment, they'll sort of super attack 15. I'm like, wait, did I mess up? Okay, I'm going to leave it at that for now. But there he is. There he is. Look at that beautiful card art. Kind of triggering that he's off center. That's not the point. All right, now it is time going to play around with the team. Super excited, and we have the rotations that I was talking about like at the start when I was taking on the Trunks event, of course. So this is the friend Margin Vegeta, and we also have the Super Vegito here, and you can tell that by having the Kaiken Goku in that last slot, he can super attack. And of course, his 12Q super attack is the stronger one of the attacks, so... Um, I feel like Bandai did that purposely because they realized that it's going to be a bit harder to get his 18 key super attack to go off. But even so, um, it's a cool looking super attack, so I'm not that bothered. And of course, he is at super attack 20. And I don't know if the friend is at super attack 20, but I suppose we will find out eventually. Here we go. That attack stat. Oh, it's just so nice to see. There we go. Kind of wish they put a bit more effort into that super attack, but what can you do? At least the 18 key looks nice. And of course, now he is getting the boost from Rose because of Rose's passive. And he is also getting that over in a flash thing from God Goku. And we are going to get that 18 key super attack to go off. It's not like super... Like, in terms of damage, it's not exactly that much weaker than his 12 key. But it's just slightly weaker. And um, at least it looks cool, right? Here we go. Super Saiyan Rose. What an absolute beast of a card. And now we have Margin Vegeta. And he gets the additional. Fair, fair enough. Didn't expect that. Ha. Huh. I think I need to give this guy a few ability system buffs. Just a bit. Is there that much of a difference between my one? D or did I seriously just miscalculate? Hold up. Uh, guest. Does this one have dupes? No, it's just a potential system buff. So clearly, the potential system buffs make a massive difference. And this is where... I may drop Super Saiyan for Vegeta. I'm not even joking. I may actually drop this man. I never thought I'd say that. I may drop this man. And just put a support unit in there. Or just another unit with over and a flash. And this is why people kind of like this like Marge Vegeta. Just because he has over and a flash. It's just so inconvenient. Especially when you're trying to run optimal rotations, I suppose. And we get super attacked. Yeah, but that Vegeta just doesn't really fit, does he? He's just kind of out of place there. And uh, Right. I kind of want to see what his regular 12 key can do. So I'm just going to grab these. Okay, how much damage is this, um, is this one going to do? Because that's, what, 15 key? I think that was 15 key. Something, something along, the, um, along those lines. Of course, we have Rose again. Oh, never mind. Just never mind. I am so glad I got this man to 100%. I wonder who I'm going to focus on next. I think I'll finish Godku. And then I'm going to work on someone just completely random. Right, let's get that super attack to go off. No super attack for Goku, unfortunately. So you can tell that the key links are a bit iffy in this particular team. But for the most part, it runs pretty well. Definitely does run pretty well. I may uh, make a few adjustments here and there. But for the most part, it's uh, a lot of fun to use. And it's a good thing that they made this 12 key the stronger attack. 1.4 million. Oh, wait. God, Goku did super attack. Never mind. I don't know why. I always think that the guys are one key off because it just tended to happen a lot to me 
um, before, so I'm like, oh, okay, he's going to be one key off, isn't he? Nope. He is actually going to super attack. All right, let's take out Freezer. And I'm going to end it there. But I hope you guys have been enjoying the showcase so far. And if you are new to the channel and you enjoy what you have been seeing so far, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new, of course. And let's aim for him with Rose. And this is the perfect time for the AoE attack. And did he get it? And he didn't even guess it because Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta does not have over in, um, over in the flash. But to be fair, it wouldn't really make any sense if he did have over in the flash. So, right. I mean... If Rose gets an additional, I think it's possible to take out the entire... Okay, never mind. So, yeah. You can clearly tell that there's a bit of a difference between the 12-key super attack and 18-key. So, it is quite a lot stronger, admittedly. Surprisingly, more than I thought it was going to be. And there we go. There, oh, damn it. Even if Super Saiyan Blue Kaio Ken here, he isn't going to super attack. Which kind of sucks. But we should be able to take him out regardless. And I'm going to quickly get rid of this. Right. And my Super Saiyan Blue Kai Ken does have a decent amount of ability system buffs. I don't know if I'm going to focus on him anymore. Probably just going to focus on, uh, like I said, Super Saiyan God Goku and a different unit in the future. But I kind of wish I finished him. But I think I'm at the point where I'm just, uh, not too bothered about him, I suppose. Right, let's grab these rows. Man, that passive of rows is just so damn good. This passive just makes this team run so much better. And he doesn't even share, like, over in the flash or anything with Vegeta, of course. It's just that passive completely. And, of course, you have Super Saiyan as well. And then you have uh, over in the flash with God Goku at the end there. It just works super well. And I'm glad that I finally managed to pull the man. I may actually run Agility Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He doesn't have any potential system buffs. And he currently isn't at Super Attack 10, but I may actually run him. I think it's pretty underrated, to be honest. I would actually get that man to Super Attack um, 100% in the potential system, but I don't have any dupes for him. So I kind of focused on, when it gave us the Red Stone, I kind of focused on Full Power Freeze a little, just because I want to run him on my cooler team. And of course, I want to give him several ability system buffs. But in hindsight, I kind of wish I went for a JT Super Saiyan Free Goku a bit more, but it's fine. But this is going to be interesting because... Huh. Are we going to die if I get super attacked? I'm going to use a healing item just in case. I don't need to get his 18 key super attack to go off. And I really have no choice but to grab that key. But let's see what happens here. We could actually take him out this turn. If Rose gets a crit or super saiyan Blue Kaio Ken. Just a decent amount of damage would honestly help us. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's GG. And we got the 12 key super attack to go off as well. There we go. And moving on to the last stage. But I hope you guys did enjoy the showcase. I hope you guys managed to pull this man in the future. I'm definitely going to have to do some, like, testing with the teams. And just come to a conclusion as to which one is, like, the funnest to run. Maybe I'll make, like, a five-part series or something along those lines. Just showcasing every single team and giving my overall thoughts. Maybe that's something that is going to happen relatively soon. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video as always. Hope you guys managed to pull Margin Vegeta. Hope you guys got lucky as I am. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day as always. And I will see you all in the next one.